Uh, this is this is such a cool activation. We only do it at the U.S. Open. I don't. I guess yeah, I don't. I, feel I like heard during my practice. Oh, you, oh, right. You were <laughs> practicing. How was it while people were while we were up here talking? How was that for you during practice? Well, a little bit harder to focus, but um, it's great fun, you know, being here and also what you guys do on the stands is a big part of this tournament, so um, I really appreciate that and and yeah, it's a fun week, so I hope you guys have fun. That's the most important thing. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Maybe. Already, I mean, they follow you all over the world, but where are my Polish fans? Already, I know that, hi guys, yes, yes. Polish fans, I saw some Polska hats. What was it like for you? I know you didn't get the color of medal that you wanted, but what was it like to you to represent your country at the Olympics? Because it was such a, it felt like such a special occasion for all the athletes, but I know it meant extra special to you. Yes, for sure. You know, um, that was, you know, my priority this season, uh, the Olympics, and I'm happy that I had another opportunity to play for Poland. Um, you know, the, the stakes were high and the, uh, expectations were high as well, but uh, I'm happy that I finished the tournament with a medal because um, for sure it's something special. You know, we don't get as many medals as yes. in US, so um, so I'm really proud of myself that I could, you know, handle the pressure and deal with everything uh, properly. So especially, you know, before the last match, because it was pretty tough to lose and like Keep I felt playing. like my heart broke, but then next day I needed to get back on court and uh, be professional. So. Uh, that was like another great experience for me and another test, I would say. And your dad was an Olympian for, for Poland as well? Was yeah. He, yeah. So what's it like to sh now share that, to really have that? I mean, you and your dad are already, you've got a close bond, but to have that between the two of you, what's that like? Well, um, honestly, I've heard about Olympics my whole life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so it was um, even more amazing, and, you know, we kind of, um, compare the, our experiences. Obviously, uh, he was in Seoul 88, so, you know, totally, <laughs> totally different times. And, um, and, and yeah, I mean, he's the reason that I'm playing tennis. So, yep. basically, um, I wanted to, you know, I want him to be in the Olympics to, to experience that with me and um, kind of remind himself how it was in Seoul a little bit. Um, but, you know, for sure, yeah, it's a, it's a, for sure, for him, totally different experience, you know, being a dad now and watching from the stands and competing. I think it's easier to enjoy it when you're on the stands a little bit. Did you have a favorite, you know, we just had Jess Pagula and Taylor Fritz up here. They were in Paris, too. Did you have a favorite part of the Olympic experience, or did it kind of just feel like another tennis tournament to you? Um, no, I mean, for sure it didn't feel like another tennis tournament. Um, totally different, but I would say... Um, when we were on the podium, and uh, even though you know two of the girls on the podium, they didn't, they, they lost um, like one or or the other match uh, sure. during the tournament. We, I still felt like um, we we're creating something great together, and um, I didn't have on the podium. I think it was the best moment for me because I felt like um, the most of the Olympic spirit. And even though you know Kim won one, I also felt that the stadium is really appreciating a second and, th and third place. Sometimes in tennis, um, you don't feel that as much. So um, this time it was it was great to like do everything together and share the experience together. Guys, give it up for Iga and her bronze medal. So, so cool to have that, obviously. Okay, so you come to New York. It's a busy part of the year, we know. Oh, we yeah. had you out here, Stars of the Open. How fun was that the other night to play with Sebi Korda? And I was asking you about trying to find some quiet in New York but you were bringing the vibes. Your energy I mean, <laughs> was there, and that was such a fun night to be a part of. Yes, for sure. I mean, these events that you guys have, uh, they make it all really special, and this tournament is, um, you know, the energy and the power that, you know, the audience brings is also because you make it really fun. So um, I was happy to be a part of that. Um, but the guys, <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of scared, you know, how it's going to look like, but the guys were really delicate. <laughs> they didn't play full power. So uh, we just wanted to have fun and play some, you know, nice stuff in front of you. So, um, but mostly, you know, uh, it was a charity event. So yep. I hope um, it brings some good. Yeah, for the USTA Foundation, we appreciate you participating in that. And we appreciate you being here with us today. It's my pleasure. During Fan Week. Iga Sviantek, everyone. Give it up for the world number one, your 2022 U.S. Open champion.